shocked by the tone of my voice. Pick out my new weapon, weapon of choice. Don't be shocked by the tone of my voice. Pick out my new weapon, weapon of choice. What's up, Michigan lacrosse fans? The segment that everybody has been clamoring for. This is the entire year. Facebook, Twitter, on Instagram, emails. The segment is finally back. Weapon of choice. My name is Scott Kemps. I'm alongside my boy Mikey Schlosser and Ian King. And the purpose of this segment is to let everybody know something that they've been wondering throughout the entire season. What do our players prefer in terms of their sticks? You know, first we're gonna go to Ian. Ian, how you doing today, man? Oh, I'm good, thanks, Scott. Great, great. So you had a year this year, you know, kind of missed some time with injury. I, I believe it was five games, uh, most of the month of March, actually. And, uh, you know, you came back after that and still led the team in, you know, points and scoring, etc. cetera. Um, let us know kind of what you play with. It's got to be something really intense and really in-depth, right? Um, I mean, as for my stick, I've never really played with uh, anything I really prefer, but... Uh, or know anything about sticks for that matter. So I have Mikey up to string me up sticks and he can tell you about it because I don't really know what I play with. All right, so pretty much every player on our team plays with the Maverick Optic. It's the head they give us. You know, it's pretty nice, except for this same stringing hole breaks every time. Hope Maverick hears this. Um, so basically Ian uses 20 millimeter uh, East Coast mesh. So it's the lax mesh. It's got a nice little grip to it. and. Um, I mean, I've been stringing a stick since freshman year. We kind of mess around here and there with it, but um, this year in particular, he had kind of a, I guess, middle of the high pocket, but the ball is still capable of sitting low because he carries the ball a lot, so it's good for cradling. Um, shooter's pretty tight, and uh, it's got a lot of whip. I mean, it's got, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say, like, an 8 or a 9, like, a lot of whip. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean... That's pretty much what we got there. It's not much more else to say. Ian, tell us about uh, you know this little guy you have here, just hanging out there. Oh, uh, well, original. You're, you're supposed to burn the the strings, but I never got around to it, so I just played with it like that. And it, it seems like you have a very intricate uh, tape job on the shaft. Do you want to explain that for us? <laughs> I like I like being able to feel the shaft and then sliding between my hands quick. So. Um, I don't really use a lot of tape because it creates friction when I'm moving my hands back and forth. And have you always played with the classic rubber butt end? Yes, I have, always. Ian, tell us about uh, you know your dad as well, kind of a you know, legendary player out of Delphi when it was Division Two, as you always like to say. Yeah. Uh, you know, growing growing up, you know, he had to hook you up with like the best string job. Uh, I think my dad thought he was doing a good thing by uh, sending my stick to the same guy every year, but every year the stick was different and that always had his problems, so I was used to playing with just about everything. And this is the first consistent stick that I've had and it, and it works really well for me. Tell us a little about, do you have any superstitions with your stick? You just put it in the bin like everybody else does, you carry it with you, put your, you know, you have your heads with you on your backpack when they're traveling? Uh, no, I actually just throw my stick in the bin, I don't really care about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just hoping it throws well on game day. Fantastic. It's, you know, Mikey, what are you what are you working with? As a guy who, you know, as we already addressed, kind of you're the guy that strings a lot of sticks and guys with the team. Uh, you know, let us know what you're using here. Uh, I use a Maverick Optic as well. I have um what is it, String King 2X mesh or whatever. I mean, uh, our assistant coach, Kenny Brochart, he always gets the mesh shipments in and I go in there and kind of just you know, like a little vulture, grab what I can. And uh, this is what I grabbed the last time I went in there. And I use kind of a lower pocket. Um, it's like mid to low. I carry the ball a lot as well, like clearing and whatnot. So I keep it low. I got one uh, one softy shooter and then one nylon. And uh, I mean, on a scale of one to 10 whip wise, I mean, it probably has like a four or something. It really doesn't have that much whip. No, you, yeah, like none at all. Yeah, none at all. I used to play with a lot in high school, but then I don't know, I actually learned how to play real lacrosse and you have to pass the ball. So I uh, mix it up a little bit. But yeah, you know, I've been using, I use the same thing all year. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about, you know, your tape job because <laughs> I give a pretty wide uh, butt uh, in there. Yeah, I put this little knobby down here. So when I go to shoot, my uh, hand hits down there and just keeps it, keeps it consistent. And I also have this other piece of tape. It's about a forearm's length up. That's how I usually measure it. And uh, that's just when I go out and shoot and sometimes pass. So if you're on the move, 
slide down, I can feel it before I shoot. Now one, one question for you as well. Uh, the fans saw the issue of February inside the Cross Magazine when you talked to our man Christian Swayze over there. Hey Christian, hope you're doing well. You mentioned that you were a big time fisherman when you were, when you were younger. Now, yeah. Does a lot of that kind of translate into string sticks? And it's a lot of knots and intric intricate you know, methods and stuff like that. You know, any correlation there? Yeah, I think it actually does. I don't know, I've, I've really addicted personality. So when I get into something, I get into it to the best of my ability. And like for fly fishing, I like, I started off just my dad, like, you know, helped me, helped me purchase a rod and I taught myself how to do that. And then, we ended up starting to tire on flies, and so we'd make the little things and then take them out and go fishing. And so just kind of like the fascination with being able to like do all the little nuances of sport, it's probably what really like got me into this. I don't know, it's just once you like start doing it, it's fun because you learn new things from everyone. I mean, I probably learn a new thing, a couple new things every year, just from like even like random kids that, you know, you coach over summer ball, they got some random crazy string job, and so you can learn a few things here and there, and it's just fun to keep you know, progressing your knowledge. As far as superstitions, you know, same question I asked Ian, you know, are you crazy about the way you keep your stick, how much you play with it on the road, etc.? Uh, I don't, I really don't have any superstitions. I'd say the only thing I do on road trips is I bring my, like, game stick in the hotel with me, like, the night before, just because, you know, I like to cradle around in the, in the, you know, what is it, the hallways of the hotel, get some extra reps in. Uh, that's about it. I, funny story, actually, this year, when we were going to St. Joe's, I, <laughs> We all piled into the cars to go to the bus, and I like hopped in the trunk of Peter's car. And halfway in the bus, realized that I forgot both of my sticks in the locker room. And so we went back, and I didn't have time because the bus already left. And so I just had to grab one head, and I brought a head with, and then had to like get a new shaft and all that. So I'd say I'm not really that superstitious. Just I don't know, it's a little cross sticks, a little cross stick. Did you play with it? Who strings the best sticks on the team? Um, I don't know. If you ask Kenny, he does. I think he's starting to come around now. Uh, it depends. Bogle strings are really nice stick. It's all preference. Everyone has their own styles, so it depends. There's a lot. There's a couple of good minds. Kyle Jackson strings nice pop, high pop. He knows what to do. So yeah. Well, you know, it's great to get back in the saddle up here on this episode of Weapon of Choice. We want to thank Ian and Mikey for coming out, and you know, we're hoping to bring uh, more of these segments around this summer so stay tuned Michigan fans and uh, we'll see you soon okay go blue and next week we'll do a weapon of choice with uh, Scott Kemp's thank you interviewed thank you. by King or not thank you fantastic I'm looking forward to that thank you. don't be shocked by the tone of my voice they got my new weapon weapon of choice